All Warner Robins fans could do was cheer, still in total shock at what had happened minutes ago. Oh, just unbelievable today. Hey, it was great. Well, I mean, there's no one for them. I am excited. I am so happy for these boys. I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I almost fainted. <laughs> I almost fainted right there. I was scared to death that first pitch because on TV, you see how good the Japanese players are. World champs! I'm very proud of them. Yeah, I was glued to my seat watching the hometown boys bring it home. Uh, it was just pure class. Oh yeah, I'll be looking forward to seeing them next year, you know, see if we win it again. Uh, I was probably more excited than uh, when the Braves won the 95 World Series. It's definitely going to be the talk of the town for quite some time. Hunter Jackson. Hunter Jackson celebrates a milestone in his young life, a walk across the stage to receive a college diploma. Yeah, it's just memories you don't forget. Ten years ago, Jackson was involved in another celebration. This one, a little more over the top. Georgia's number one! He was part of the Warner Robins American Little League team that stunned almost everyone by winning the Little League World Series. You know, sometimes I'll come in here and just, just reminisce and say, wow, you know, what an experience with uh, such a great group of guys that will be friends for a lifetime. And Dalton Carricker was Hunter Jackson's teammate on that championship squad. It was a run, you know, and we didn't really expect to do that. Uh, you know, just being some a team from Warner Robins, you know, the little team that could is what they called us. Uh, that run included district, state, and southeast regional titles, which put the guys from Wartown on the big stage in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. You're just in the moment. You're just having a good time. and and. Any league that says that they're preparing to win the Little League World Series, they are either delusional or just trying to pull your leg. League President Roman Jones actually thought the Raw team in 2006 was better than the 2007 group. But there they were, competing with the best teams from around the world. Mickey Lay managed the Raw team. We all had a kind of a game plan in mind, but it was to make sure that the kids had fun and just make sure they didn't get in trouble and but give them the freedom to be kids. The Raw kids enjoyed that freedom, but they also took care of business on the field, even if some of the other powerhouse teams weren't paying much attention. I remember Dusty Baker coming up to me and said, man, y'all got a pretty good little team. He goes, everybody's kind of overlooking you. I said, exactly, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Even after Raw run ruled a strong Arizona team, few people picked them to topple Texas in the U.S. championship game, but they did just that. To go out there and prove everybody wrong, I mean, prove the state of Texas wrong, prove the entire nation, really, um, besides the people backing us, uh, that, that we, we actually had a chance. USA! USA! The win over Texas propelled Rawl into the World Championship game against Japan. I figured as, as disciplined as Japan is, I figured that they would pretty much wear us out, but... You know, you got to have faith in those kids. That faith paid off as Rawl battled Japan into extra innings. The score stood at 2 all when Dalton Carricker stepped to the plate in the bottom of the eighth inning. He throws me a curveball uh, pretty far off the plate. And, you know, I threw my hands at it and, and, and made good contact. And, you know, the rest is history. The walk-off home run earned Rawl the title of Little League World Series champions. It also earned Carricker a spot on the David Letterman show. Man, I just remember how cold it was on set, how nervous I was, but he was just such a, such a great guy. The team received a hero's welcome home, followed by a road trip to the White House to chat with President Bush and a permanent place in Warner Robins Little League history. But at the end of the day, we're trying to teach kids character, courage, and loyalty, not go win a Little League World Series.